As NK Jamison says, there is no greater warrior than a mother protecting her child and this explains all about the protagonist Gina Royal's actions. Is still house like worth reading? To know, watch the video till then where I am going to review the book in detail without any spoilers, including facts about the author, book description, insight and features of the text. Hello, this is Juhi. Welcome to Book Island where I make book related videos. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to stay connected and hit the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you get notified. And if you have already subscribed to my channel, thanks a lot for supporting me. Today, I am back with another book review. Today, as I have already said that I am going to review Steel House Lead by Rachel Kane. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Before full indulgence in the book, let me tell you who is Rachel Kane. Rachel Kane is actually a pen name of Roxanne Longstreet Conrad. She is actually an American author of mystery, suspense, fantasy, horror and sci-fi novels. Kane listens to music while she writes and even at the end of the book, there is a list of soundtracks provided. Here it is. So now coming to the book. Steel House Lake is an intense thriller series. Actually, when I picked up the novel, I didn't know that it is a part of a series and I enjoyed it as such and the book doesn't even end in a fully dead cliffhanger. After finishing the book, I came to know there are five books in this series featuring the same protagonist. Steel House Lake is one of the five finalists in IATWA Thriller Awards in 2018. So our protagonist General is a stay-at-home mother. She is married to Melvin Royal, whether happily or not, there lies a question. She has two children, Brady and Lily. One day she drives back home with her children only to find that someone has crashed into their garage. For this incident, everybody and police come to know that inside the garage lies her serial killer husband's killing floor with a body mutilated. Now her husband has been sent to jail, though she has been acquitted, but people still think she was involved so as a protection, she has to change her own and her children's identities and locations. Internet trolls and families of the people whom her husband had murdered are always after them as they want something horrible happen to her and her children as punishment. Now she moves to a house on Steel House Lake and thinking to settle here but again terrible incidents start to happen. Now a mother will give her ultimate fight to save her family. The first thing I wanna say about this book is that this book is not for faint-hearted people. This book contains many gruesome graphic violent descriptions so if you cannot stand that please avoid this book. The protagonist of the novel is a badass woman. She is strong and cautious and I just wish if I ever find myself in a situation as like her, I can handle that like her. And the bonus point is her children Lily and Brady who are just awesome according to their age. The depiction of paranoia demands praise. Rachel Kane manipulates those psychological movements skillfully. The dark side of the internet is also portrayed perfectly which shows how a pathetic nasty world lies beside the beautiful world. The next thing is lifelike descriptions. The realistic descriptions takes the readers inside the plot. The text is written in first person point of view of the protagonist so we can get the whole picture of her psychology. The language is easy and simple. The book is very gripping and definitely a page turner so you can read it very fast. It has around 286 pages and the written price is 2.99 in Indian rupees. My rating for the book is 4.5 out of 5. Goodreads rating for the book is 4.1 out of 5. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to stay connected. I shall be meeting you in my next book related video. Till then, ta-da!